a large recurrent trigium, my way of doing, in a patient 17 years of age. It's a huge trigium which was operated many years back and has grown to that extent. Subconjunctival lignocaine for anesthesia. Wash with beta team. You will see a different approach to the management of such a huge recurrent trigium. The film has double speed. You can see the trigium extending towards the fornix, the fornix. So, what I am going to do is peel off this huge trigium and I do not cut it. I retract it towards the sclera and I tie it there. You will see. So just peel off the trigium. If you remove it, then where will you get new flesh to replace it? There is no need for that. You can use this very thing for covering the scleral area. So what I do is I have cleaned the cornea, the trigium was peeled off, it has been pushed towards the fornix. So I will apply sutures to fix the retracted pterygium and tie it to the sclera. I use 40 micron stainless steel for this purpose. You can do, you can use any suture. The idea is to keep the peeled away recant region away from the cornea and give cornea a chance to repair itself. New epithelium will grow and that will cover the cornea. So post-operative recovery is going to be very fast. So one suture is already there, so I am applying a second suture. Any suture will work. I find it more convenient to use 40 micron stainless steel. It gets covered with conjunctiva or it falls off by itself and never causes any foreign body sensation because the suture is not pointed forward. So all this is done. Suture is cut right on the knot. So in the end, to keep the patient, make the patient comfortable, I take a contact lens and place on top of it. See, that is all the surgery needed for a huge recurrent region. Thank you.